The Second Amendment is obviously one of the most controversial amendments in modern day America. Um, it is the amendment that protects your right to bear arms. The controversy surrounds partially the wording of the amendment. Uh, founding fathers didn't do us a whole lot of favors here. Um, both sides of the gun debate can basically read this amendment and pull what they want to pull out of it. So the amendment actually reads a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now, people that support the gun control debate and want to cut down the access to guns can argue that this amendment just gives a well-regulated uh, militia the right to bear arms. Um, others that support gun ownership rights can say, no, it talks about the right of the people um, to keep and bear arms. So that's kind of the heart of this debate is that both sides can use this amendment to justify their cause, which means it's really up to the Supreme Court to sort of like settle the dispute and establish what the actual legal opinion is on the interpretation of this amendment. So for most of American history, the Supreme Court did not interpret the wording of this amendment to mean that an individual has the right to own a firearm. That's not until the 2008 Supreme Court case of the District of Columbia versus Heller, in which the Supreme Court clarified that this amendment does indeed um, protect an individual's right to own a gun. So uh, again, there's obviously two sides of the debate, right? It divides political parties and it divides individuals in this country. But the Supreme Court's interpretation from 2008 on is that the Second Amendment should be interpreted to protect an individual's right to own a firearm.